Hi guys, how's it going? It's Yi from Dove Computers. AOD kindly sent us a review model of the Android powered Smart Pocket Projector. Will this mini projector allow you to enjoy a movie with your popcorn? Let's find out. The Aodine Smart Projector is made of a shiny polycarbonate plastic two-tone casing in pink and white. It's reminiscent of a large power bank in both size and weight. The projector is light enough to fit into a large pocket or bag to transport around. Let's take a look at the technical specs of the Aodine Smart Projector. Cue the music. <laughs> On the front of the projector is the lens and ventilation slot. On the one side is a focus dial, power off switch and micro SD slot. On the back is the LED lights and on the other side is the two USB ports, power in, headphone and HDMI port. Below the projector is the speaker and hole for the mini tripod. On top of the projector you'll find cursor arrows with an OK button in the middle, a back, menu and power off buttons. The tripod legs can be extended but it can be hit and miss to position the projector when the tripod is screwed in. The downside of laying the projector on the flat surface is that with the speaker being at the bottom, the sound becomes muted. The speaker quality itself is nothing to write home about and I would recommend usurping this with a Bluetooth speaker for better audio enjoyment. The Aodin projector is very easy to set up. Turn it on, point the projector on the wall, connect to your Wi-Fi and away you go. To optimise the viewing experience, Aodin supplied a wireless remote control with mouse pointer, which is a godsend compared to the remote found on Aodin's smart TV box I reviewed not long ago. Navigation is definitely frustrating without a mouse pointer and a keyboard. This is more to do with Aodin and Android's GUI platforms, which are not optimised for navigation with a remote control. The beauty of the pocket projector, of course, is with the battery built in, you can pretty much grab and go with it. Move it from a PowerPoint presentation in the office to your living room to watch a movie on Kodi or Netflix. Or take the projector over to family or friends to show you the latest holiday snaps from a micro SD card or USB flash drive. The Aodin Smart Projector comes pre-installed with a wealth of software to make the most of the hardware. Android 4.4 and Codeine 14.2 is on this build. I easily upgraded Kodi to the latest version 16 Jarvis, built to make the most of the media center experience. Netflix, SkyGo, Hula and YouTube are a few of the installed apps to get you going. Naturally, Google Play Store opens up even more apps, games, music and movies to watch. AirPlay, Miracast and eShare also comes installed with the projector to share and mirror your iPhone, iPad, Android or Windows device to the big screen. For example, if you want to share your content from your smartphone or tablet to the projector, this can be easily done in a few clicks. I found in testing connecting my iPhone using AirPlay and my OnePlus 3 with the Miracast was child's play, spoilt further with the additional features of eShow. The Aodine Smart Projector will happily accept an Amazon Fire Stick or your laptop to the HDMI in socket if you want to make use of Amazon Prime TV or show off your laptop content on the second larger display. I managed to get around two and a half hours to three hours on average with the projector, which is plenty to sit back and enjoy a movie with family or friends. Aodin have included a mains power adapter for charging the battery and extended usage. Word of warning, the power cable is short, so bear in mind when you decide on the location of the projector. The first thing that strikes you when you take the Aodin Smart Projector out of the box is how good it feels in the hand. You immediately notice the compact size and weight from this pocket wonder. When you switch on the projector and point it on a wall nearby, oohs and ahs are the comments that echo from everyone who has seen this mini projector for the first time. I naturally assumed that the display coming from the Aodin Smart Projector would be nothing to write home about, but boy was I blown away. The picture's sharp, ok it's only 15 lumens and you need a dark environment to appreciate this projector to its max, but move it back 3 metres from the wall and you have 
a 100 inch screen in front of you coming from a device no bigger than an iPhone 7. A tip is to buy yourself a wireless keyboard and mouse to navigate around Kodi and the Android apps. Also wirelessly connect a Bluetooth speaker for added enjoyment as the built in speaker is poor. There's an embarrassing wealth of software built in with the Aodine smart projector. If I had to nitpick, Android is only 4.4 KitKat and I would question whether Aodin would have many future software updates for this device. The included tripod is probably better left in the box as it's not very sturdy. Better to replace it with something like the Joby GorillaPod tripod instead. Overall, the Aodin Smart Pocket Projector is an amazing device for its size and weight. A feature-rich and compact projector that ticks all your streaming and home theatre needs in a well-made, handheld, Android Power Projector. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Aodin Smart Android Projector. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.